morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I don't know why I just said good morning because it's actually 5.55 p.m. Parker just went out to go and film something for someone. He actually filmed a clip earlier of him unboxing his iPhone. Right now I am doing something super exciting. I am gonna unbox my iPhone, my gold iPhone XS Max. So this is the new iPhone. I ordered it when it first came out and it actually could have been delivered on Friday, but we've been up in Salt Lake for so long, so I had to wait for it and it's been killing me. Ooh, look at that, guys. This is the box. Got a wrapper around it. Also opening Apple products is always amazing because their packaging and like design and everything is always so great. Ooh, look at that. So this is the bigger phone. This is my 7 Plus. It's the same size as the 7 Plus, but the screen is the whole entire thing. So Aspen got the 10 and she didn't like it because of the fact that it didn't have a button and she's telling me that she thinks that I'm gonna regret getting this and I'm not gonna like it. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I like it. In the box it comes with the headphones that plug in straight to the lightning port and it also has the chargers. I'm excited to turn this thing on and try it out, see how it works. Oh man, that's my favorite. Pulling that off. So this is what the new screen looks like. Look how big it is. And then this is the, uh, this is what it looks like on the home screen. Pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a video or maybe in one of the vlogs. I will uh, go through and do all the cool new things that the new iPhone does. I was not there when he was doing that because I was trying to film a get ready with me. I filmed like half of it and then I decided that I wasn't loving it and I actually really want to wait until I cut my hair, which I wanted to do this weekend. I was like really set on chopping it like to here and I thought I had, I also need it colored. As you guys can tell, it literally looks horrible, but I thought we'd have time this weekend, but with the pop-up shop and all of the crazy stuff that went on, we just did not have time at all. So I think I'm actually going to go back up to Salt Lake. I I don't know when I'm trying to figure out when to go I think I'll just fly it by myself I don't think Parker will come with me but I need to book a plane ticket for that I just don't know when to go we have like six weeks until we move we told you guys the closing date is supposed to be at November 6th that can change up until October 6th so right now it's approximate but after October 6th like after 30 days they can't, like when it's 30 days away they like can't push it back anymore so today's the 26th we have like a little bit of time a week or two before they can like push the date back basically if it stays the 6th we have six weeks pretty much exactly so I feel like I'm gonna go crazy because Lauren moved my mom moved two years ago and I literally have no friends I don't know how this happened to me but it is true like even right now Parker he's only gonna be gone for like two hours and I'm just lonely bored out of my mind I've just been doing random computer stuff all day I had to edit the Luke and Gray fall photos I'll actually show you guys those right now but I had to edit those and then like get those uploaded to the Dropbox and just do a bunch of like random emails and like random stuff and I'm still working on my new preset pack I thought I would also have time to finish that this past weekend and I didn't so hopefully this week I can kind of finalize that like I said I'll tell you guys when it's up and give you guys like a discount to it but I have to actually like finish it and post it first let me see let me go through and find these pictures to show you guys because they're super cute and then i need to like make a dinner or something i feel like i'm really thrown off because we came back last night on tuesday night and now it's like wednesday and the day is over and i just keep thinking it's already the end of the week and it's not and i feel like i'm just really thrown off from like coming home like randomly in the middle of the week i don't even know and we have like no groceries we should have gone grocery shopping today but we didn't and so i'm just like feel like i'm in a daze or something i don't know but here's the pictures this lighting looks a little bit harsh on camera they look a little softer in person but let me show you guys some cute ones i think this one's super cute this is all for our fall collection which is actually launching when you guys are seeing this on friday but that's only for our maybe i'll show you guys this can you see that yeah you can see it the collection is launching today for our email subscribers and our app users and then for everybody else it launches on Monday so I'll have a link down below um, in Monday's vlog or you guys can just download our app right now and you can shop the collection I love this picture I think it's so cute where to go I love that one. Oh, these jeans I'm pretty sure these are coming out in the fall collection they are like the cutest pants in the world I also love that photo that photo is so cute 
That one's so cute. There are so many cute ones. Oh, I love this sweater. I'm obsessed with that. We will consider that your guys' sneak peek, even though you can actually go download our app and see everything. But I have some packages to open. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna vlog it because I know I've been doing a lot of unboxings lately. And you guys actually like them, but I don't wanna do too many. I'll open them all on camera and then I'll just put the really exciting ones on because I don't actually know what's in the boxes, but I need to find a tripod. On the hunt for a tripod. Um, hmm. Also, guys, in the last vlog, it was called My Wife Bought Nine of the Same Pillow. And a lot of you guys were saying that I should just not return any of the, well, I think I only have one extra, but to just not return it because if like one of them gets ruined or like spilled something on it, then I'll have an extra one. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. So keeping all nine of the pillows. Also, this is a blanket that I just got for our guest bedroom. It is so cute. I shouldn't have opened it, but I literally like could not resist opening it because I thought it was so beautiful. It's from West Elm. Also, another thing that I need to do, but I might have to wait until Parker gets home. My mom and Lauren both bought the fluffy rug that we have in the living room. I sent them the link because they both wanted to buy one. Lauren wanted one for her apartment. My mom wanted one for the Luca and Gray office. So I sent them the link to the one that I got, but in like different sizes for them. And the one that my mom got is like not the same rug at all. I don't know if they like made a mistake. I literally have no idea, but hers is like a totally different texture, different material. It's like so different. Lauren's is a little bit more similar to mine, but it's also different. So if you guys remember in an unboxing vlog a couple of weeks ago, we showed you guys this giant rug that I got. I got a, t I think it's 10 by 14 for our new living room. And obviously I like didn't want to open it until we move, but now I'm thinking that it's going to be the wrong rug. So I need to open it. I'm not going to like actually open it and like lay it out, but I'm going to like cut it open and just like feel the material to see if, oh, I found a tripod. Yay. I'm going to open it and see if it's the right texture, but I don't want to ruin it. I somehow probably would. So I'm going to wait until Parker gets home, but I'm putting this tripod on here. I also might change my outfit because, yeah, I'm gonna change my outfit really quick. Okay, bad news, this tripod is way too tall. This is where it is if I'm sitting where I want to sit. And I don't think it goes any lower, so. Rotating you guys off the tripod. Oh, okay. So in the last unboxing, which was like two vlogs ago, I showed you guys some spell items that I got and they were actually sent to me by one of their PR agencies. I just love the items so much that I wanted to order a couple other things from that same line. So this, I have this in a skirt, but I also ordered it in the dress. This dress shape that they have or like style is like my favorite thing ever. And these are just such good quality pieces. These are a little bit on the pricier side, but they're just such good quality and I love them so, so, so much. So I got that dress and then I also ordered this one. So this is actually the same print. I have this dress in this print and then I love the print. It's so pretty and just like neutral and beautiful. So I got this like shorter dress and it is gonna be winter. I didn't think about that when I ordered these, but I'm planning on keeping those for a really long time. Next, I have a Tarte package. You guys know that I did a palette with Tarte, so I can't cut them out of my unboxing. Gotta have some loyalty. We have this little eyelash curler and, oh fun. These are some little like tropical makeup brushes. That's fun. Next, this one's from Nordstrom and I already know what's in here and I know that this can't be cut out because it's so cute. Wait, does this look different than I thought? Wait. Okay, so I ordered this sweater when Nordstrom was having their like big yearly sale, the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I was so excited. I couldn't even believe that this sweater, because I got on the sale like almost towards the end because I was out of town. And if you wait until the end, obviously like most of the good stuff's gonna be gone, especially my size. So when I saw that they had this sweater on sale and they had my size, I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is freaking a miracle. So I ordered the sweater, was so excited. And then I got an email that they had canceled it because my size was gone. So I was like, dang it. So then cut to like three months later, I go on their site, I see the sweater again, they have my size. So I was like, oh my gosh, yay, I can finally get that sweater in my size. So I order the sweater, guess what happens? I get an email that it is sold out. 
in my size so at this point i was like okay what so what i actually did because it's a sweater so i was like okay i can get it like a size up and if it's a little bit oversized it's okay this is a size six i normally would get like a size four or like a two or whatever i don't know this actually looks like it will be perfect so got this cutest sweater boring we can skip this one this is filters for our fridge not opening that this one is from benefit and pb teen okay wait this is like way out this is way hard to open actually. Also guys, did any of you guys watch Manifest, the TV show? It just came out on Monday. There was a trailer, like a preview for it on Facebook. It was like 10 minutes long and I watched the entire thing. And I sent it to Lauren and we were so excited to watch the show. So I watched it with her. That's like half the reason I even went up to Salt Lake was because we have to watch our bestie girl shows together. It was so good. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched it because it's like primetime TV and like a really popular TV channel. How was this box not open yet? But it was so... What? I swear I cut that already. It was just such a good show. If you guys haven't seen it or heard of it, it's the one where basically this airplane like takes off in like 2013 or something and then it shows the airplane like has turbulence something crazy happens and then when the airplane lands it is like november of 2018 so for the airplane it was like a normal plane ride but they just had some turbulence and then for the rest of the world it's been five years so it's like a mystery as like how that happened it was such a good show i just need to watch the entire thing <gasps> wait this is so cute so comment down below if you guys have watched it what is this this is so cute Look at this cute print. That is so cute. Okay, so apparently Benefit and PB Teen are collabing. Wait, that is the cutest bed ever. This is so cute. What? Okay, I'm obsessed with this. There's this one bed kind of like that on Anthropology that I really want, but obviously I'm not gonna get it because I just got a new bed. That is so fun. Oh no, I almost spilled my LaCroix. These freaking people, they know how to like pack their boxes so tight. So these are also from that same PR agency that sent me the spell items, but these are one teaspoon brand. So I thought these pants were really, really cute and cool. So they're like a pink color. And then I love the bottom. They're like, they're not really flare. They're more like straight leg, but I thought this detail at the bottom was super, super cute. And then I also thought this was really fun. It's like a little overall like skirt thing, but it has like these paint splatters. So I thought that was really cute. Now I don't know what to do because I don't think we have any food for dinner. Parker made some Brussels sprouts for lunch, which those are freaking good. I don't know why they ever got such a bad rap, but I actually, when I was looking up how to make them the other day, on Pinterest, it was saying that like in the olden days or something, people's parents used to like steam the Brussels sprouts, which was not like that does not sound good so that kind of actually made sense if people used to steam them that literally sounds terrible so i understand why people used to hate them but the point was i thought they were gonna be moldy and they weren't because we've been gone so basically i that was the dumbest story ever sorry <laughs> i don't know what to do i guess i can eat like a frozen burrito or something we just don't have a lot of food no this is not good footage <laughs> like why do i have any subscribers i don't know